Don't forget to show how to play against yes. the dragon. I was just gonna do that. So I think I'll, I'll just share like one kind of tricky approach. That if you're white and you play open Sicilian, you'll probably get this position at some point. And what I could what I could suggest is called the Lovenfish variation. And I think it, it's probably very effective against anyone below 1800, which is probably a majority of the chat. So the, the move to play here is f4. I don't think I've ever taught this before. I have seen it a few times. But the idea of f4 is, okay, obviously controlling space, um, maybe eventually preparing some kind of later kingside attack. Um, but more concretely, there's ideas of e5. So if we open Lee Chess Explorer or Opening Book, the most played move on Lee Chess is Bishop g7, which is a main move after this and this or this. Many times black will just auto like automatically play Bishop g7. f4 makes it, so Bishop g7 is actually a mistake because of e5. And we can see this reflected in the win percentage. Um, e5 sometimes isn't good because it, it kind of overextends, but in this case, uh, it's very powerful because it's supported by f4. And the knight's going to have to eventually move. So most players take. And after take, they play. Yeah, they're already in, in big this trouble. This variation is approved by Stockfish 11. Oh. 11 fish. Lol. Oh, 11. What do they call this? Yeah, this is 11 fish variation. I don't know if I mentioned the name. Is it actually approved by Stockfish? Okay, it is, yeah. E5. E5 is very problematic for black. Like, once you get this position, like, white's already much better. Um. If knight g4, we can, yeah, we can see at least one cool trap, bishop b5. Now notice if black blocks with anything on d7, we win the knight. Even bishop d7, we win the knight because the bishop's pinned. And more tragic for black is if king f8, knight e6, has a 100% win rate out of 1,596 games. I don't know if I've ever seen a 100% win rate out of like so many games. <laughs> but white wins every single game here. Because, yeah, you're picking up the queen. So it's a cool opening. It's incredible how quickly black can just die after playing kind of like an automatic natural dragon move. That's why if you play the dragon as black, like you kind of have to be prepared for this. Oh, very weird name says, no, this was my secret. A secret re revealed. So do I show how to defend against this line? We could look at some other moves. I mean, Stockfish Bull will probably refute everything. Actually, it says knight fd7 is best try, but this is really ugly for black after, d after pawn e6. If black takes, then we win the either the queen or the bishop. Black's whole position is in, sh in shambles. We have knight d5. Knight d5 is second most played, but again runs into this. And again, if black blocks on d7, it, it would obstruct the defense of the queen to the knight on d5. We would win the knight. So king f8 is the best move. Then we very calmly castle. Thanks for this, Eric. And yeah. also one more request. Uh, don't upload Ooh. this to YouTube with the Wait. clickbaity title so I can enjoy oh. this line for a while. <laughs> Wait, don't upload this to YouTube with a clickbaity title. Oh, but now you're giving me ideas. I could put this on YouTube. How to crush the dragon. Crush in all caps. Crush the dragon after seven moves. 
White's basically crushing here. Like, look at this win rate. 10,000 people walked into this line. Man, so many clickbait ideas. And 10,000 people suffered from this epic, trappy dragon line. Win quickly. Especially, how many people fell into this knight g4 line? And almost 1,600 people. <laughs> Maybe I'll hold off for like a few days. Because I have a lot of YouTube content in the pipeline. Incentive to oh. put this on YouTube. Should I do a chat? Real quick, I'll, I'll show what Black should do. After after pawn f4, Black should play knight c6. And um, this way it discourages e5. e5 is no longer a great move. Uh, but there's still some tricky traps, like knight takes c6, b takes c6, and then still pawn e5. Um, because if black takes, then I guess it's a game. But white's actually kind of comfy here. Black losing casting rights. Eventually we'll get the defile with check. So black has to be very precise. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think I'll dig deeper. I'll, I'll let people explore, but I, I, I showed the main trap. I'm showing what black should do if you're a dragon player. Just play knight c6. Um, we can see in master's database too that it's still... Okay, most people go for this line, but apparently this is the best approach to deal with this. Um, so I hope most people, or at least some people, are inspired. <laughs> some people saying hi to YouTube, other people saying no. If this does go on YouTube, uh feel free to ask follow-up questions in the comments. Oh, I could do a poll. Let's do the poll. Yeah, if, if you're on YouTube, you should watch on Twitch because then you can have, have a say of what actually makes it to YouTube. Should I put this? I am defeats dragon uh, in seven moves. GMs hate him. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, let me know what clickbait titles I should consider. Okay, one minute poll. Okay, chat. Chat decides, is this going on YouTube? Ooh. Yes, is leading. Man, yeah, it's it's 80-20, about. 100, almost 150 people saying yes. I'm voting yes. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Joel, subbing. Okay, we, we don't even have to wait until the poll ends. Uh, chat has spoken. If you're watching in the future on YouTube... Is it selfish of me to vote now? You can let Anton know in the comments of whether or not it's selfish to vote no. <laughs> um, and yeah, watch on Twitch. Oop, yes wins the poll. Hey, Eric, okay. you're the best. Oh, you're the best too. 